What's up YouTube, Jerryland here, bringing you my first how-to video. So today we're going to show you how to set up your Jaybird Blue Buds X so that you can set up the X fit to wear it over your ear or under your ear as well as how the heck these wingtips go on and which direction they go in. So um, anybody who has already bought a pair of Jaybird's Blue Buds X, you'll know that they don't come with very good directions or an instruction manual or whatever. So you kind of have to fidget around and figure everything out for yourself. So hopefully I will be able to help you out and resolve that issue. And then I'm going to go ahead and give you a view of what these earphones look like um, when you wear them over the ear or when you wear them under the ear. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set these up first in the under the ear fashion. So one important thing to note is that when you're wearing these earphones under the ear, you want the controls to be on your right ear. And then when you're wearing these earphones over the ear in that style, you want to have this headphone set on, the, on your left ear. Um, the reason being is because these um, drivers, Jaber, I don't know if you can see, but... Um, Jaybird made it so that they kind of curve at a certain angle, and that's supposed to help um, the music get into your audio, con your ear canal better. Um, that's just the design they made it in, and so that's how it works. So I've already installed one of the ear tips and one of the wing tips just to show you what it looks like. This is extremely confusing. <laughs> it took me a while to figure this out. Uh, maybe it's just me, but um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So when you're wearing it under the ear, you want to take your earphones. Again, have the, the control, control panel on your right side, and then you want to have these two white faces facing you. So you can see that my wingtip is curving to the right on this side. So when I set up my left ear, I want to have that wingtip curving to the left. And then you always want to um, put in your, your wingtip first, and then put on your ear tip. It just makes it easier, and it makes it so that you don't accidentally break your wingtip or something like that. So let's go ahead and show you how to put this left wing tip on. Okay, so if you will notice, I'm going to install it like this, so that it comes on like this with the wing tip facing left. And what I do is, if you can see this little ridge right here, I'm going to go ahead and pop this in and just wiggle it on up. And then I want to make sure that I don't leave it like this, that is incorrect. So I want to pop it so that this wingtip goes onto the groove just like so. And so it's slightly at an angle like that. And that's all you do. That's how you set up that wingtip. And now we can go ahead and take this ear tip. And all I do is pop it in. There you have it. That's how you set that up. So they should look like this. Facing opposite sides. So it almost looks like two eyes and two eyebrows. <laughs> And that's it. There you have it. That's how you set up the under the ear um, wingtip fashion. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it on and show you what it looks like. All right. All right. So this is what it looks like when I'm wearing it under my ear. So you'll notice that it's under my ear. Um, you're going to have the control controls on your right side. So at your right ear. And then you're going to have, like I said, just the cord hanging on your neck. And so if you are just working out, lifting weights, doing something like that, it doesn't really matter for you to have this here. It doesn't really bother you. Um, these earphones are super lightweight, so it really shouldn't bother you at all. Uh, but this is what it looks like when it's worn under the ear. And so um, I'll give you a look, a close-up look. So you can see the wing tip right here. It just kind of curves right into one of the grooves in my ears, and it just helps uh, these earphones stay super secure. This is why they have the patented secure fit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you a demonstration of just how secure this is. So I'm going to shake my head left and right, up and down as hard as I can, and show you what happens. <laughs> so my glasses almost flew off, but my earbuds are still perfectly secure, and that is just super awesome. So these, again, like I said, are perfect for working out, for cycling, for playing tennis, for going running, etc. Just being active and not having the stress about your earphones falling out of your ears or being super uncomfortable or anything like that. So they just look great on your ear. Um, they look great being worn under the ear. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up the X fit of being able to wear it over your ear and taking this cord off of your neck so it hangs like this on your head. Um, and that just gives you a more um, secure and 
uh, not dangly kind of wear so that you can maybe do uh, be a little even more active without having to stress about this maybe bouncing up and down a little bit and um, I just want to remind you that when you're wearing it under the ear you want your controls on the right side but when we set up the over the ear fit we're gonna move this so that the control is on our left side now okay so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set up your X fit your over the ear setup so you wanna go ahead and start with your cord flat like this with your uh, and then you're going to go ahead and try to form an S shape. So you'll see that S shape. And you want your control side on the bottom. Alright, so next you're going to take your two clips. This is very, very, very important. So you're going to take your two clips and you see this little round edge right here. And then there's a flat edge here. And then on this one there's a round edge right here at the top and then flat edge here. So you want these to face opposite directions. So you want your flat edges to face opposite directions. So you want your flat edge on top and flat edge on bottom. So you're going to place this one at the top of your earphones right here and then this one at the bottom of your earphones right here. Right, let's go ahead and focus that. So next what you do is you take this bottom cord of the S and let's zoom in so you can see how we do this. So you're going to take the bottom and then about half an inch away from this control you want to insert it into the very outside slot just like so and that's it so next I'm gonna take I'll zoom out so you can see I'm gonna take this middle part of the S and I'm gonna go ahead and insert it into the second slot so let's zoom in again so you can see how we do this take that insert it into the second slot there you go see how I have a little loop right here you want to give yourself a little bit of room next I'm gonna do the same thing to the top so again I have a flat side on the top opposite of the other one and I'm gonna go ahead oh, my bad I'm gonna go ahead and take this and give myself a little bit of leeway it's kinda it's gonna be able to be adjusted so I'm gonna take this and put it at the top outermost oh goodness I'm gonna put this in the outermost slot there we go just like that next I'm gonna take this loop that I made earlier and I'm gonna insert this loop into the middle slot alright so far so good so in this position let's zoom out you are gonna be able to adjust this X fit so I'm gonna be able to there you go so look at that extend it adjust it to however I think um, it'll fit me best. So next what I want to do is go ahead and take this and then fit this over my ear and see how far off my neck I want it. So for example, let's say I want it about, let's try that. Let's give this a little room over here and pull a little this way. And that's kind of how I like it. So I kind of have it set in place. Now what I do is on those last two slots with the little circle thing right here I want to take this top piece and I'm gonna go ahead and insert it right into let's zoom in again so you can see that sorry about that so I'm gonna go ahead and insert it into this last slot and that'll kinda of lock it in place and then for this one right here do the same thing take this loop go ahead and insert it into that last slot and there you have it. So now I can just go ahead and straighten it out a little bit. And there we go. Let's zoom out and show you. We have our X fit over the ear off the neck fit. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put on your ear tips and wing tips. And then we'll go ahead and put it on and show you what it looks like. Same as before, I just want to show you we now have the over the ear X fit fashion. So what I'm going to do is just keep it in the same orientation that I set things up earlier so that you don't get confused but you want to remember that this control is now going on your left ear not your right ear so this setup is for the over the ear fit and this side is now going on your left ear so before we had our eyes and then our eyebrows were going out either way this way so those are our wing tips so now you'll see that you basically made a almost 180 degree turn and then so instead of facing this way now it's flipped inside so now you want to have both wingtips facing inside and downwards.
you know, inside and downwards, and then you'll see if there's a little bit of gap between the here, and that's how you want it. So let's go ahead and show you how to put that on this left, this uh, right ear now. Okay, so remember, control side is on your left ear now. So again, we're gonna put our wing tip on first, then our ear tip piece. So I want to go ahead, here's the groove. You see that groove again. We're gonna go ahead and slide this on. And I wanna make sure that it goes on correctly. So like I said, a little bit of space in between here. They don't have to be perfectly even. There you go, slide it over that groove. So it's slightly slanted. You'll see slightly slanted, and then there we go. And then now I'm going to put my ear tip on, just super easy, just slide it on like that. And now we have both facing downwards and curving in. Alright, so this is the over the ear setup. So now let's go ahead and show you what it looks like on my head. So this is what it looks like when it's over the ear. So you'll see that the cord goes over my ear now. And I'll turn around a little bit, and the control panel is now on my left ear. And you can see that the cord is now off of my neck, and it's just hanging on my head very short like this. And that's just what the over-the-ear fit looks like. It makes it so that you can keep um, the dangling wires off, wire off your neck, and that's just it. So it's whatever your preference is, however you like it. Personally, I like the over-the-ear fit. Um, but one thing I would like to mention is that uh, sometimes this might fit a little better, but sometimes under the ear might fit a little better. You just have to play around with the different wing tips and the different ear tip sizes and try to figure out which one is most comfortable for you and which one will help you get that isolation um, and which one will help you keep your earbuds in. So I'm going to go ahead and shake my head around, up and down, and as you can see, Secure Fit is awesome. All right, and there you have it. Hopefully that video was helpful to you. Um, it definitely was confusing for me to not really have any instructions to know how to set things up. So um, please remember to give this video a thumbs up if this helped you out. Leave some suggestions for other people as well if you have any. And as always, remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching. My name is Jerry Lan, and have a great day.